open the cover, grab a bowl, slam it down on the table, because we're getting ready to fill you full of cold tomato soup. Hot boys, cold soup. Pour it on yourself. Let's go. Let's get into it. All right, let's, uh, let's get started with this gazpacho. So this is like a rustic type of bread. We cut off probably about that much. Or not, maybe I do need a bread. <laughs> And you want to, you don't, you're not going to use the crust for this part. So what you're going to do is you're just going to like tear it in chunks oh, okay. and throw it in your bowl in the bottom. I think I need more bread than this. I'm going to save some of this so you can eat it on the side. Okay. So I'm going to use about half this thing. I think that'll probably be about how much I need. Now that that's all situated, we need our tomatoes. We need about three pounds of tomatoes, as ripe as you can get. The riper, the better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these out. I'm gonna cut them up into like, you don't really have to cut them up that finely, but I'm gonna cut up in like big slices, probably about like that. You can leave the top part on or you can cut it off, but we're gonna blend it up so it doesn't really matter. Mm. Um, and then we're gonna strain it. So any big pieces on there are really gonna hurt. So pretty. Decent looking tomato, and then I'm gonna cut that in half, like that. Okay. That's right. All right. And then what you're gonna do is take these little chunks and just put them over the top of your bread. So just throw those on there. It doesn't really matter how big or small they are. Just you just don't want to throw them in their hole. Like, cause this, this, what we're gonna do is not gonna work if they're whole. Now, since we got like a layer of tomatoes and bread in here, we are going to put a little salt all over the top of it. Just sprinkle it over. And a little pepper. I'm just, you're trying to put them in an even layer when you salt and pepper them because if you have a bunch of them, they're all stacked on top of each other, the salt will come in contact with the ones below. So that's kind of the purpose for layering them like this, because this is going to draw moisture, like a bunch of juice out of these tomatoes. See, like as you can see the bowl, all the ones that I just salt and peppered already are underneath again. Uh -huh. So that's basically what you want to do. And we're going to add a little more salt on top of these. And pepper. And now we need to cut up our other vegetables for this, red onion, bell pepper, whatever color you have. I got an orange one today and about half of this giant cucumber because I got more than I needed. I'm going to use the thin that's not as gross looking. I don't know if it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to peel it. So I'm just going to cut this up in like half moon, so slice it lengthways, and just little chunks like that, because that would be perfect, because remember in the end we're going to blend all this up anyway, so. I do this with tomatoes and stuff a lot though, I always put salt and pepper on them like that. You do it with eggplants as well. You ever, See people that say you cut up an eggplant and salt it and let it sit and drain it. Um, that makes it less bitter. I'm gonna cut up my uh, bell pepper. Cut it up. Cut out the white part. If you want, it's up to you. You should just rip it out. And just cut it up into big pieces like everything else, kind of big pieces. Throw that on top. Can I throw one out? Uh -huh. Bend overboard. Yep, I did. And now, need a little red onion. I'm gonna use. I'll use this whole onion. I'm just gonna rough chop this. It fits like everything else, you know. So cut it like that and then like that. And just throw it over. Then we're gonna coat all this with uh, 
more of our other best friends today, salt and pepper. Eat a couple cloves of garlic. Oh, no, okay. That'll work. I'm just gonna smash them. You don't have to cut them up because we're gonna blend it again, you know? So. Three cloves of garlic. And we got some of this out of our garden. It's a little bit of a fresh oregano. If you don't have this, you could use a little bit of dry. Just figure out how much to convert from fresh. I need about um, quarter cup. That's a lot. I don't have that much. That's whatever. That's how much I have. <laughs> so I'm not going back out there to grab more. That looks like it. Well, it might be close, actually. Huh? Close. Sprinkle that over the top. I'm gonna throw just a little bit of dry in here because I don't wanna go pick more because it's a pain in the butt to go get the oregano that we have. Okay. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit of dry. So I'm gonna pour about a half cup to a third of a cup to a cup of olive oil. I don't know if I need that much, but that's... That's probably about a cup, you say? You think? I don't know, maybe. Traditionally, like our last recipe, it uses a special kind of vinegar, sherry vinegar. We don't have that. We got red wine vinegar. Oh, fancy pants in yeah. there. So I'm using red wine. If you need a couple tablespoons of this, just pour it over. That's probably a teaspoon. You can put more in your bowl when we're done. Now we got all the vinegar and oil in there, salt and pepper. I'm just going to stir it a little bit so I get some of that stuff distributed evenly. Just, now you just let it sit on the counter for 30 minutes and then we'll come back and blend it up and then plate it up and then we're done. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this up. So I've got a giant crazy blender. You can use a regular blender. <laughs> you can also, if, you, if, you, if you're like adamant about it, you could probably use one of those little stick blenders. It'll take you a while though. But any blender, regular blender will You're work. Industrious. Yeah, I'm gonna get, just pour some of these in here. I don't think I can fit all of it in here right now, so I'm gonna do some of it, blend it up, and then add the rest. And now let's go ahead and start it up. I don't know why it does that. Can you turn it off? to keep stuff off the blaze, I don't know, but are we looking for, how, what kind of consistency are we looking for? Just more everything's blended up. I'm going to strain it after this. Oh, you're going to strain so, it? Okay. Yeah. You don't have to strain it if you don't want to, but I'm going to try. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna do that. I'm going to try to fit the rest of this in here. We'll see what happens. I'm going to have to get another bowl and drain this out of here and then finish off the rest, you know, but we'll see. Try not to splash it everywhere. Oh. I don't know how to use it. I think it does that just to get it all over the lid. Yeah, like I, think so. I think like, it. yeah, I think so. Like you, you, you took this off to pour stuff in and it wasn't splashing up and you yeah. turned it off. Put it on your face. Here you go. I forgot an ingredient. I was going to, you could put it in when you soaked all the vegetables or whatever, like put all the salt on them and stuff. You need like a half teaspoon or a teaspoon of cumin. This is optional. You don't have to use and it. And uh, there's a hole in the lid. He's not just pouring it on the lid there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a hole in this blender. So if you want, you can put cayenne in it too. Um, or some chili flakes. I, I, it's up to you. You don't have to do that though. I don't want to go upstairs. It's freaking hot. So I'm just blending that cumin back in here. I'm going to go ahead and strain it. Forget about it. If you have like a finer, like a mesh strainer, you can use that. I only have like a, like a colander with pretty small holes. So that's what I'm going to use. Or you can just not strain it. It's up to you. It's like pumpkin, pumpkin juice. Sipping on pumpkin juice. <laughs> That's the name. That's our. That's our. That's our. Well, pumpkin spice latte. Rap oh, that's. Song. It's 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 coming back. I saw a picture from someone that works at Starbucks. They got this the syrup in already. Wait, is it's summertime still? It's August, but they have it already. Oh my god! Pumpkin spice season just gets closer. It just gets sooner and sooner every year. I'm tired of it. So what I'm gonna do is just stir it like this. It All right, let me get closer. To this see, it's way. falling I through. See what you're doing here. I, put, I might have put a little too much bread, so it's a little thicker, but I think I think it's better thicker. I've never had it before. 
But if it's runny, it's gonna be like V8. You know, I <laughs> want V8. This is gonna, just gonna catch like the skins of like the tomatoes and like the seeds and stuff like that that I didn't cut out in the cores. Oh yeah, okay. And seeds and stuff, yep. That's what we're trying to catch. Oh nice, I saw that, that's a good one. That's it. So we're done now? Yeah, that's it. So we, we can do? taste it, we taste it for salt and stuff, and that's it. I don't know if it needs salt, it's pretty good. Okay. Man, that's good. That's it, so we're just gonna plate it up and then we'll, we'll catch you after that and we'll give it a little try. All right, so this is uh, gazpacho, yep. our first taste. Let me stir it around. Let's try, let's try. Now this is a cold soup, everybody. Mm -hmm. It's cold. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. That is really good. Mmm. Mmm. The bread. The bread just like soaks it all mm. up. Uh, you're gonna have to keep me from eating this whole thing. That's why I was like, I was wondering why you only got that little bit. I'm surprised. You as much as you want. I'm gonna. I've had this gazpacho before, but I don't know. I don't think I really liked it. But this, I like this a lot. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, difficulty wise, I would say that this might be the, one of the easier recipes we've ever had. You just gotta have a blender. Just it's, FYI, it's pretty filling. It looks like you're not gonna get full off this, but let me tell you what, you are. Yeah, I'm really full. So, it's all that oil and stuff. That's what it is. There's a bunch of oil and bread in it. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> I'm taking a nap right now. Oh, I got your nose! We pinched this off. I'm prairie dog in here. Let's finish. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I always go back to poop all the time? Because it's, pooping is funny. So if you like this video, if you like this recipe, please make this recipe and then let us know how you like it, you know, because that's the only way we know if other people like what we like. Then uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell, share with your friends, and uh, check out our other videos with all kinds of stuff out there. Make sure you watch our short film, The Streamer, and uh, we'll know pretty soon whether or not uh, they like us or not, and the competition probably like get last place, but that's all right. <laughs> so we'll see you next time on ONG News. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Oh. Hey, I'm coming back. Guess what? There's more videos out there to watch. Check this one out right here. Click this little icon and hit the subscribe button because we're gonna make all your wildest dreams come true. We're like genies in a bottle. Just like Christina Aguilera, right here, me. I'm a genie in a bottle. <laughs>